First up for Ancient Monster Mods, we have the Emperor Fisher. It has this really nice blue, white, orange, and black default skin, and it seems to be a little bit smaller than Concavenator. Its beak is actually about half the size of its body length, which is kind of crazy. Makes me think it's going to fill sort of like a seagull role where they try to eat things that are way too big for them. Could be pretty fun to annoy people with. Golagor is getting a remodel. They've already gotten pretty far with it. As you can see here, Golagor has basically a armored anteater like tail. He's got fur under the chin and he really doesn't have those two large spikes that he's known for on his shoulders anymore. Of course with the update to the model there will be changes to the model's animations. Right here you have Golagori eating which I already like a lot more than the previous eating animation. Doc J updated more quill recently and if any of the ancient monster mods needed a TLC sort of touch up I would think it was Golagor. Golagor was a bit clunky when it first came out. Its playstyle was very very fun but it was hard to hit things that were right up under you and it was very hard if they decided to tail ride you because Golagor was so long and I like this new Golagor model a lot more than the previous one already. The behavior I get from these animations is a lot more Wolverine-esque or Honey Badger if that makes more sense. It walks around pretty confidently so I'm pretty sure this new Golagor is still going to be as much of a powerhouse as it was before. Even so my favorite animation has got to be this pounce grab that they're going to give them. It's it makes it really, really easy to grab mid tiers from what I can see. And that's a big difference from all the other mods that really only let you grab babies or juveniles. The new Golagor is smaller than the old one in general. It has much smaller limbs and the length of its body is definitely a good feat shorter. The first skin they showcased is this blue and dark orange. It has a couple of variations. It's not really one that I personally like, but I'm pretty sure there's someone out here who would enjoy these kinds of skins. The next aquatic mod is the Lacerex. Now I didn't know why they called it the Lasso Rex because it didn't really look much like a Rex, but I think it's only in regards to its size because this guy is definitely huge. You can really see some walrus or leopard seal inspiration here, especially with the two long front teeth. The spines on the back definitely remind me of the sea dragon mod, so I feel like it may come with armor or some kind of defense. We got a couple of sounds for it already, which you'll hear next. I find it a little funny because the longer I look at the Lacerex, the more it looks like a Pokemon to me. <laughs> Ororaptorus is another new mod that looks like a Dilo and a chicken put together. It has that ridge on its nose like Moraquil and then that rooster dewlap. It's got really long back limbs and four limbs for some reason and the spines along the back of the tail. It's a little bit smaller than Alioramus, so I'm assuming it's about concavenator size and will have about the same stats. There's a newer modding community called Alpha Kaiju. It was started by Petro here and he's actually looking for other developers to join his community. So if you like this upcoming mod, definitely hit him up. With that being said, the mod that they made is Inkasaurus. It's basically a Stego T-Rex Venomous hybrid. Both the model and the sounds for this are absolutely terrifying, so I'm super excited to see where it goes. Divine Beast has definitely been in the mood for aquatics and semi-aquatics lately. They actually just finished their Spinosaurus sculpt, which is looking absolutely gorgeous by the way. It's very accurate to what scientists think Spinosaurus looks like now. Who knows if that changes in the future, but otherwise it's still pretty great. The sculpt itself is so lifelike, I actually thought it was for a different game. So congratulations to whoever made this, because I will definitely be keeping a close eye onto this to see how it plays out. The Orca model is actually getting some love with some base basic animations now. I don't know how well an orca will survive basically in this world with dinosaurs in it, so it will be interesting to see what kind of abilities they give it. Being able to showcase their intelligence would be a really big thing, but it may be hard since they are limited to pretty much controlling the creature and can't really edit the actual game itself. I really just hope they have good skins. I'm not sure how many different variations you can come up with, but it will be exciting if they can come up with a couple good ones. Dana Sukas is already getting some TLC 
mainly in the movement category. They're just updating the swim and walk animations. It has not been very long since Dana Supus was released by Divine Beast, so maybe they just saw a couple of things they wanted to tweak and that's why they're editing it now. Regardless, I think it looks really good. The movement overall is just smoother to me. I'm hoping this just translates to all the other subspecies and I'm wondering if there's anything else they plan to change, like any other attack abilities or something along those lines. The walk especially is a lot better. It looks less like it's throwing its weight around and more like something natural to the animal. We'll really just have to wait and see how it turns out in game. Ex Argola has announced three new mods. Argentavis, Venenteraptor, and Pannoniosaurus. They only have these low poly models of them, so we probably won't be expecting them until further in the future. You may have heard of Formica Magma, which is basically a giant fire ant. This version here is a worker ant. It'll be really cool if sometime in the future they're able to make a queen, maybe as a subspecies, maybe as its own separate mod. Either way, really cool. We'll definitely look out for these guys. One of Rosepaw's next mod is Nasutoceratops here, which the low poly is already looking pretty great. She really just has to nail the textures and give it some pretty unique movement. That's about it for our mod news. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for subscribing too. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods and check out some videos of games that you've never seen before. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.